a lane of Chevy holes, unfit for any breathing soul, except these little urchins, playing in the garbage dumps, immune to the stench of rotten fruit, and the drain running along the street. A spot on the city's glory, these slums exist, killing aesthetics, the surviving monument of poverty, unwiped by modernization, homes to dehumanize humanity. They shelter the poultry. I am Reema Limtiaz. Today, I am introducing the life of people in slums. What are slums? A slum is a highly populated urban residential area consisting of densely packed housing units of weak built quality and often associated with poverty. Pakistan is a home to a significant proportion of the world's poor. Almost a quarter of the country's 158 million people survive beneath a poverty line. A big ruler population migrating towards the cities of being attracted by the glamour of city life enforce people to live in congested areas without roof, eat whatever available, drink unhygienic water, lacking proper sanitation. The places where basic necessities of life become amenities, where people compete to eat, to wear and to sleep are their homes, which are made by none other than piles of rags cloth or whatever becomes available. With the passage of time, as they earn money, they install pumps for water supply and use open fields as toilets. Inhabitants are under the continuous pressure of being wiped out by the municipal authorities as they continue to live and grow gradually. Do you think because I am poor, obscure, plain and little, I am soulless? I have as much soul as you, and full as much heart, and if God had gifted me with some beauty and much wealth, I should have made it as hard for you to leave me, as it is now for me to leave you. My name is Rashid Ali, 043. Attracted by minor compensation of their day-long turmoil, these hungry stomachs compromise on living in such condition. Their wives also work on daily wages and their children, once grow up to a certain age, also start working. Slums are used by big guns of political parties as their vote banks, so their recognition in the society is none other than being a political tool. Poor sanitation and unhygienic environmental condition promotes deadly diseases in the inhabitants. Seeing their loved ones in misery, they rush toward government hospitals, thus adding an extra burden on our health system. Being unable to afford the expensive medication and treatments, people often have to choose between health of an ill and food for the rest. I am Etsyam Asif, BSc 027. These people are living from hand to mouth. Here are some interviews from local people. Children growing up in these areas are at higher risk of death and disease, are more likely to be chronically malnourished. For example, forthcoming World Bank research from Bangladesh shows that. Children living in slums are 50% more likely to be stunted than children living in other urban areas. This doesn't have any implications for today's children, who are stunted early in life, go on to learn and earn less, and face a higher risk of chronic disease as they grow older. <laughs> Why 
ਮਜਬੂਰੀ ਦੁੱਖ ਸੋਕਾ ਵੰਦੇ ਤੇ ਕਰਨੀ ਪਉਂਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਈ ਸ਼ੂਕਰ ਦੀ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਕੋ ਗੋਜਾ ਦੀ ਖਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਖੜੇ ਨਾ ਜੇ ਕਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਹੀ ਇਨਜ਼ਾਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਿੰਦਾ ਧਰਾ ਦਾ ਮਰ ਗਿਆ ਪੰਡਾ ਬਾਰਾ ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਗਈ ਦੀ ਦੀ ਮੋਥਾ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਦੀ ਦਿਕਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਦੀ ਦੇ ਮਜਬੂਰੀ ਕਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਕੋਈ ਹੱਥ ਆਦਰ ਪੈਸੇ ਦਿਓ ਦਵਾਈ ਦੇ have to go hand in hand with creating food system that are better able to promote healthy diets they use old method of cooking food and they don't have modern things also the food quality is compromised the kids in the slum do not get that much opportunities that they can compete with the world I am Barira student of BSc 020 what our group conclude is that there are many problems in a country when it has a lower income people it is not only affecting to the local area of that place but also affects the economy and status of that country in pakistan many people live below poverty line and they are facing many problems even they have lack of basic necessities of life we can no longer afford to overlook the complex problems faced by urban slum residents by working together we have the power to find sustainable solutions to improve their futures and help to build healthy communities and nutritious food systems in my point of view we should increase the educational levels so people can play their role in the development of country government should invest to improve the standard of living not only in big cities and only for the sake of vote but to help them solving their problems